Breaking news, a major escalation in the Middle East tonight. Iran launches its first direct military attack against Israel. Now, President Biden is meeting with his national security team at the White House. U.S. military officials tell CBS News fighter jets in the Middle East are on standby. Good evening, I'm Jessica Moore. We're looking live right now at the Tel Aviv skyline. The Israeli military says Iran fired more than 100 bomb-carrying drones and destructive ballistic missiles. The attack comes in retaliation for an Israeli airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria earlier this month. CBS 2's Derek Waller joins us now in studio with the breaking details. Derek? And Jessica, we actually just learned that air raid sirens are going off right now in Jerusalem as explosions can be heard in the skies above. Now, some new video out of Jerusalem Jerusalem shows flashes against the Iron Dome as Israel says it has already intercepted some Iranian drones. The retaliatory strikes raising fears the war in Gaza could expand to a wider regional conflict. New video from Iranian state-run television shows Iranian drones in the Iraqi airspace heading toward Israel. President Biden cutting his Delaware Beach weekend short, just arriving back at the White House, meeting with his national security team one day after this warning. Mr. President, what is your message to Iran in this moment? Don't. But tonight, Iran's Revolutionary Guard confirming in a statement they launched a punitive strike against the occupied territories, which includes Gaza and the West Bank, adding, quote, this operation involves the use of both missiles and drones aiming to hold the illegitimate and criminal regime accountable. U.S. officials believe Iran's attack could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles used for long-range strikes. <laughs> Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressing the nation said, our defense systems are deployed, we are prepared for any scenario, both in defense and attack. The airstrikes in retaliation for an Israeli airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria two weeks ago. Seven military officers were killed. General Frank McKenzie, former head of Central Command, says there's real concern an Iranian attack could lead to wider conflict. If there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. And this really puts President Biden in an incredibly difficult situation. The White House facing pressure to stop supplying Israel with weapons after an Israeli missile attack killed seven humanitarian aid workers a couple of weeks ago. But now with Iran taking direct aim, the White House vows to stand by one of America's closest allies. Jessica. Derek, thank you. And sources tell CBS News within the last hour, the U.S. has intercepted some drones flying toward Israel. CBS News has also learned the U.K. is scrambling fighters jets from Cyprus to defend Israel.